today we are talking about laser hair reduction and today I am here to debunk 5 myths about laser hair reduction. Myth number 1. Skin becomes dark after laser hair reduction. So laser hair reduction is a very safe and effective treatment and lot of people have availed it over the last few years. The laser actually targets only the melanin which is there inside the hair root and it does not affect the surrounding skin. This is because the wavelength of the laser is such that it selects only the melanin or the dark pigment which is there inside the skin. So this makes laser a very safe treatment and it does not make your skin very dark. However, after the laser hair reduction, make sure that you are using your sunscreen regularly to make sure that the skin always remains its best. Myth number 2. Skin turns green because we used some razors to prepare the skin before the laser treatment. A lot of people have a feeling that you know over a period of shaving and doing the laser the skin will turn a little bit greenish like we see in men after they shave what they call the greenish double which is there. The truth is though that we do the shaving after the laser because the laser itself uh, removes the hair without causing the damage to the epidermis there is no color change which happens on the skin. You do see this greenish appearance when people are waxing or shaving continuously and when you do waxing or threading the hair is being forcibly removed through the epidermis. The epidermis is getting damaged and therefore the skin is getting green. Laser hair reduction actually reduces this pigmentation and we do see that after laser hair reduction if you have been waxing and if you have had got a greenish stubble on your skin the greenish stubble disappears as an additional benefit of laser hair reduction. Hair becomes thicker or grows in new areas after laser hair reduction. This is completely not true. Laser is one of the most safe and best method to remove hair. But what happens usually in women, especially when the doctors start doing the hair removal procedure, they might notice that other areas of the face are getting involved. The reason for this is because of the hormonal changes and that is why we always advise that if you have excessive facial hair, please get a complete evaluation before you start your treatment which includes an endocrinologist consultation, a blood test as well as an ultrasound to rule out any hormonal problems and if you need to take any additional treatment for this, this can be done at the same time that you are getting your laser hair reduction. If you do this then you don't have to worry about any excessive hair growing on the face when you are going for the treatment. Myth number 4. The skin becomes thin during laser hair reduction. This is not true. As I have explained that the melanin which is there in the root of the hair is alone getting targeted and this hair, the depth of this hair is about 3 to 4 millimeters in the skin. So the laser is formulated in such a way that it affects only this and does not touch the surrounding skin areas. So there is no damage to the epidermis which is the upper layer of the skin so you don't have color change. There is no damage to the deeper layers of the skin which is the dermis. Therefore there is no thinning of the skin as well. Myth number 5. Laser hair reduction is not long lasting. Over a period of multiple studies and multiple laser treatments have shown us that laser is the one method which gives us permanent long lasting results with hair reduction especially on body areas. The only exception seems to be facial hair on women but even in facial hair we do get long lasting results with multiple treatments. So if you have more questions about laser hair reduction, speak to your dermatologist today.